Welcome to Violin Adventures number 149. This past week we got right into that cello and made some real progress. Also, we finished the Virginia violin. We're going to get all these clamps off the lining and get going on this cello. This is a good time to put in the little wooden dowels on the two ends on the back here. And we'll just make sure that we have the sides right where we want them. Okay, we cleaned off the table and now it's time to drill the holes that will help us keep this all together. set this aside and work on this part now. We need to take down the blocks and take down the linings. But before I do that, we've got a beautiful tone going. Okay, I am sanding the ribs and the blocks. Those are okay to sand. Okay, it's time to weigh our back. We started at 17 pounds, and let's see what it is now with all that wood off. Okay, I put on our one pound weight, and we know it's not more than two pounds. Okay, it's one pound and nine and a half ounces. We went from 17 pounds down to one pound, nine and a half ounces. That means that we got rid of over 15 pounds of wood chips. Now for fun, let's weigh the wood chips. Although I don't believe I have all the wood chips, um, but most of them. And of course we cut off a lot of wood on the sides, but let's weigh our wood chips. I've got them here. Okay, this is just for fun. I'm going to put down the four pound weight. And our bag of wood chips. Oh, wow. So, the wood chips are heavier. That's two more pounds. That's six pounds. Seven pounds. I'm going to have to go to my eight pound weight. messy table. Well, these are all the wood chips that were taken off of the blocks to get them down small enough. But it really smells good. The pine has a beautiful smell. I wish you could smell it. 
Okay, now we're going to take the back and the sides and put them together. Here's our ribs. All the lining and locks have been taken down, so it looks very nice and neat. Okay, one last tap before we put the ribs on. <laughs> so big, nice tone, and here, very lively. So, so right now I have the glue heating up. Get nice hot glue and we can, while we wait, we can put the little wood dowels in to hold it right where we want it. I'm going to, um, because the edges are so thin and so flexible, um, I need to be very careful when I put this on here that it goes right where I want it because from here we are going to cut out the top. Okay, this is our Mangini copy, and we decided to put a new fingerboard on, which was a good idea because the old fingerboard was too narrow up here at the top. So we're putting on a new fingerboard, and everything we do affects the violin tone a little bit. So I'm excited to hear what it's going to sound like one last time after we get it set back up again. Okay, we've taken down the fingerboard, carved out the back side, got it all tuned, and now we can glue it on. Okay, here we've got the Mangini copy, and we're putting on a new fingerboard. We've got it glued on, but now we need to blend the fingerboard into the neck. And that's why I have this very handy leather cover so that it protects the violin while I am with a knife blending this wood. So once I get it rough blended, I'll see you. I next need to go uh, with a file and just blend this in. down on the top and trace the top. Okay, we're going to go ahead and trace this while we can. Okay, we now are ready to cut out the shape of the cello for our top. But before we do that, I'm going to spend some time just cleaning this up. Any glue that might be on the edges or uh, pencil marks. And also we need to, I'm going to need to trim the edges to make sure that they're all equal all the way around. So that's going to take some time. So I'm doing that first before I cut this out. Okay, I'm wanting to finish up this violin so I can get back to the owner. So next, I'm wanting to make sure these pegs will be smooth turning. So putting some pig compound on here. They're nicely done, but they were starting to get a little bit sticky. Now one last thing before I set this up, I need to get the little jacket on. 
and do a little, I'm going to do a polish on the fingerboard. Okay, in trying out this violin, it sounds good, it's got power and a lot of vibration. I like this uh, chin rest over this one, and partly it's because this chin uh, rest attaches right where the lower block is, and these side ones can damage the violin when it gets clamped too tightly, and then the ribs begin to bend. So just a note, this one also is quite heavy, so I'm going to play this with uh, the mount over the block so you can hear it, and then I'll put uh, the other one on. changes and it gets too low so I made a second bridge so you'll have two bridges and hopefully they'll then you'll be set to go whatever the temperature is uh <laughs> Okay, I better do this quick before the screen fogs up, but we are in a little heat wave right now, and we have, um, we're in the 90s, and next week it should cool down. So let's go inside and see how it is. Well, here it is inside the shop, and our first place is the cello. Here's the cello. The back is on. And we've traced the top. 
So the beginning of next week, Lord willing, we can cut out the top and start carving again. But hopefully this will be a lot shorter carving period because the wood is so much softer. Okay, here is our Virginia violin and it is getting ready to go back home. But we're going to wait till that heat wave goes away and send it out maybe on Monday. But I'm going to send back two bridges so that you have flexibility in your plane. You can use either one. And over here is our violin in intensive care. And we are going to wait and see if the violin wants to keep going or not. <laughs> Freddie wants to chat. Hey, hey, wait a minute. There's that empty door behind me. What in the world? I gotta tell my boss to Put the door back in because it, it makes my section not look professional. I'll be right back. Uh, uh. There, that's better. Now, now I look professional because, I, because I'm big now. So, uh, anyway, hi everybody. I, I, Freddy. And, and I got lots of friends out there. All you guys that send me in your projects, you're my big friends. So now, I got another one. This one is a harp maker. And, and he sent in his new harp. And I'll let my boss read about it, because I can't read yet. But I am professional. Davey from JK Harps sent in these pictures. This shows a new model harp that he's been engineering since the beginning of the year. It is a 34 string Paraguayan style harp based on his late mentor John Kovacs famous 36 string harp. He likes how it sounds already though it will take about 30 days for it to come to its real voice. He showed us here clamping and gluing his soundboard with hide glue and also some special jigs he had to make in order to match the new soundboard dimensions and thicknesses. And now, don't forget, send me your projects because I, I want to keep up this part of my video. Okay, everybody? Okay, thanks for sending in your projects. Bye! The Hebrew Minute. Nachon Levi Elohim Ashira Vaazamra Af Kavodi. My heart is fixed, or this also means my heart is steadfast, O oh God. I will sing and I will give praise, even my glory or my abundance. This could even be with my whole being or soul. If you know where this is found, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you for subscribing and for your thumbs up and your comments. That helps so much. And until next time, God bless you. Bye. Yes, the rain has come. It's so much cooler now.